Hello and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. I am William Strife and uh, this is a bit of an informal tutorial that I'm going to show you. A little bit longer than all of the other Minecraft Guides as well. Um, as many of you probably already saw, the Redstone Guide that I just recently finished, uh, it covered the parts in the first part and it covered the mechanics in the second part. Um, and in each individual episode I show off things that you can build. And while the first and the second part are all good and well, teaching you about parts and the mechanics, if you don't have a practical application of those rules and skills that I uh, teach in those videos, then you kind of... there's no point in knowing any of it. If you don't have a, you know, plausible application of all of that information, there's no point in knowing it. So in each individual video, there's some sort of an upgrade to the base that you see. And in the final episode of the Redstone, guide there is this piston door that you see and as you can see it's kind of large it's it got a nice hallway but it's really cool opens up top uh upwards downwards left and right in both directions and most importantly about it is that it's triggered by a tripwire and i can run at it and it it opens so fast that i don't stop running in order to uh it, it opens so fast that I don't stop running. I don't hit a wall. So that's really, really important about this door. And what the hell just happened there? I don't know. Funky. Anyways, um, I'm going to show you how to build this piston door in a creative world, flat mode, etc. So that you guys can learn how to build it yourself. And also, you know, potentially make full use of the mechanics and everything that I covered before in the previous full quality guides. Um, all of the mechanics in those videos, if you didn't really understand how to make use of them, you're going to see all of those mechanics at work when building this door. So, I'm just going to hop over to a flat world in creative mode, and I'm going to show you how to build this. Okay, so here I am in a brand new flat world. The first thing I'm, that I'm going to cover is everything that you need to build one of these doors in survival mode, because that really was a big factor whenever I came up with how to design it. Um, how to build it in survival mode. You're going to need six sticky pistons, nine string, two tripwire hooks, one button, 30 redstone dust at least, three redstone torches, and two repeaters. So with those things, the first thing that you want to do is you want to figure out where to put your door. Once you know exactly where you want the door, and more specifically, the door looks like this, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to... Whoops, you want to figure out where this bottom middle block is going to be. This is where everything starts, knowing where this block right here is going to be. So I've got all the parts that I need now to build the door, and when you know where that middle block is going to be, you just dig down two blocks and place your piston. That's your first piston. Then you want to dig out around it. Three down, three wide, three long. So there we go. This is uh, what you need open. To build your door. You don't actually have to dig out this top right corner. In fact, it's probably best if you don't. Now, the next thing to do is to start wiring things up. The first thing you do is you put a block right there and you attach a redstone torch to it. There you go, and it's extended up. Now, the next thing is to make certain that you can get wire coming out of here. And this particular design requires that you step up blocks instead of use an inversion chain or anything with torches. So you want to build a stairway right over here. And you want to build a stairway right over here as well. And this is what your mechanic pit is going to look like. This is everything that you're going to need underneath the door. So go ahead and come down here. And the first thing you do is you place a repeater. The purpose of this repeater is to make certain that redstone signals that come down this way don't backwash up into the redstone wire over here. This really doesn't serve a complete purpose of boosting signals. Uh, it does, and it doesn't at the same time. But anyways, the next thing to do is to wire everything up. Just get the white redstone coming out of the pit, like so. And to hook the wire up to the block, so that whenever a redstone wire comes down from either side, it's going to feed through here, into this wire, charge this block, shut the redstone torch off, and retract the piston so the door opens. So that's everything for the pit. That's everything underneath the door that you're going to need, so I'm just going to cover this up, keeping in mind that you need these holes on either side open so that the redstone will actually step up and out. Now, just real quick, I'm going to do all of you a bit of a favor, 
I'm going to take some diamond, and I'm going to take some redstone blocks, and I'm going to mark the outside of the door, okay? So, as I'm dipping, ducking, and diving around building this, keep in mind that the redstone pillars mark the outside of the door, and that the diamond pillars mark the inside of the door. Just keep that in mind, I'm doing it for you so you can keep track of where everything is. Oh my god, that's slightly off, it's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, so with that done, the next thing to do is to place the remaining pistons. And it's not that difficult to figure out where to put these. All you have to do is look at the piston that's already there, count over two blocks, and place the pistons on the third block. So there you go, two spaces, then on third, and you do the same thing on the other side. Boom. Now you need to build an archway over this to both carry redstone signals and start, you know, closing the area off for a proper door. So what you do is you put wood there and there, and you extend it completely across the top like so, and down. Now you also want to move the middle block and build up just a little bit to put the remaining piston in. Destroy those. There we go. This is what the arch needs to look, look like. This is everything that you're going to need to move signals up and over and around the blocks. So, the next step is to get your triggers in, and we're going to start with the trip wire on the inside of the door. To put the trip wire in, you want to lay a block down adjacent and diagonal, just like that. Attach your trip wire hooks, and then lay down your nine string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Trip wire hooked up, ready to go. Now, we need to get all of these pistons to extend. Okay, and the way that we do this is with redstone torches here and here. Now, I'm going to explain exactly what this redstone torch is doing, just so there's a full understanding. This redstone torch is sending power to all of the ob all of the blocks around it, except the one it's attached to. So it's if there's a block over there that can accept a redstone signal, it'll take it. Um, so what's happening is this redstone torch is powering this piston, but it's also charging this block above it, which this piston is pulling power from. And I'm going to show you something about redstone, lo uh, redstone looping accidentally. Um, in this particular design, where there is a block here and a block here, uh, edge to edge like this, and there's a redstone torch on the bottom. Well, I'll just show you. If I put redstone on top of this block, See what happened? It burned out, and it, the reason is because it created a really fast, infinite loop. What literally is happening is this torch charges this block, which charges the redstone dust, and the redstone dust charges the block below. But when this block becomes charged, it shuts the redstone torch off, which uncharges this block, which uncharges the redstone dust, which uncharges the block below, which allows the torch to turn back on which means that this block becomes charged and then the and you can kind of see the loop here it creates a really fast infinite loop and that's actually the reason why the ability for redstone torches to burn out was ever created so just remove that however because that torch is also powering this top block here we can charge the top piston very easily boom it's charged now all we have to do is just delete it over here boom all of the all of the pistons are extended now, the next step is to hook this trip wire up not only to this block here to invert the torch, retract these pistons, and by extension, retract this piston as well, but also to send the power down into the pit so it can retract the bottom piston. And the way that we do that is just by hooking up a bunch of redstone wire like so. Now, some of you may be looking at this and saying, well, why not just use, like, two repeaters right here and right here, and hooking it up like this. Why not just do that? That takes up a lot less space. Well, yeah, you could do that, but you have to keep in mind that everything is placed in a very specific location in this build for a very specific reason. The way that I'm building this allows for all of the pistons to be in 100% perfect sync. There's no one piston or set of pistons that's slightly behind another set of pistons. So whenever I say, hook it all up with redstone instead of using a repeater, there's a good reason for that, okay? And you're just gonna have to trust me on it because, well, I know what I'm doing. And I've spent a lot of time tinkering with this door. So now that all of that's hooked up, the top and the bottom piston are going to retract as well as these side pistons. These won't do anything because they're not hooked up yet, but... See? Perfect sync. 
Okay, so now that that's done, we need to put in the next trigger, which is the button to open the door from the outside. It's not that difficult. From the outside, you look at the piston, count over one block, that's empty, then put two right there, and your button. There you go. That's exactly what you need. And then you want to bring the wood three blocks back, or well, whatever block you use, and hook it up like so. Now that the button is connected down to the pit, it not only will retract this, but it'll also feed through up out this side, retract these pistons and that, so everything works now. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is make certain that these pistons right here retract in perfect time with the others, both from the tripwire and the button outside. So to do that, this tripwire hook is going to charge this block, so this is where you're going to get your power from. And to do this, you just come up around this way, and you hook everything up. Now, it could be possible to shorten things up with repeaters and whatnot, and you could send power just straight through like this and place a repeater there, but this is completely wrong because... I mean, I'm just going to show you real fast what happens here. See? Should have, should have gone back, but for some reason, what happens is that because this block is charged, it's keeping the repeater charged. It basically locks everything into a sort of stasis, and it's keeping this block charged, which is keeping which is sending power into this wire, and it's keeping everything around here charged. So, you know, you try to cut corners where you can, try to shorten things up, and it just flat out doesn't work. So to actually get this to properly work, you have to use extra space and connect things up like this, and then place an extra bit of redstone there, and place a repeater right there. So, this is really important, because this repeater is what makes these pistons work in perfect time with the others because this signal is coming out around and it's going to reach this torch before it reaches anything else on the other side, top, bottom, and the other side. So this pi uh, this repeater, all repeaters, even though they send signals on at a very fast pace, they introduce a very slight delay. So this repeater introduces just enough delay for these pistons to continue working in perfect sync with this. So if I go ahead and hit the tripwire, everything is working in perfect, perfect sync. And likewise, same thing with the button. Now the only thing that remains to be done is to go ahead and put some blocks in the door and start covering up all of the ugly gut work that is this piston door, like so. There you go. I'm gonna spend too much time on this. See? Go ahead, walk into my nice house, even though there's nothing really in the house. And then same thing backwards. Really, really good. And um, if any of you can come up with a way to improve this door and still get the pistons to work in perfect sync, I really doubt the possibility of being able to improve this door and still get the pistons to work in perfect sync. I think improvements are possible, but I've spent so much time trying to get things to sync up with different... Uh, different designs that basically just reduce the amount of space that you need on either side of this door, I just don't know that it can be done. That being said, I don't claim to be an absolute expert on redstone, I just claim to know pretty well what I'm doing with redstone. And like I said, um, I came up with this door on my own. Uh, there's a possibility that somebody else on the internet has come up with this already and has made a video, but what I can say for certain is that if someone else did it before me, I certainly didn't follow their guide because this was my big project where I learned how to manipulate redstone in detail. And, uh, you know, I'm always coming back to it trying to see if there's a way to improve on it, get the, uh, get the amount of space that I require to reduce again, but uh, I never seem to be able to do anything extra or different. But anyways, um, that is your redstone-powered piston door, and uh, that's how you build it. Any of you who want to try to tinker with it or improve it or change it, feel free to, you know? I I'm putting this out here because I think that a lot of people are interested in how to build this type of stuff. But anyways, that is the Redstone Power Piston Door. I'm William Strife. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>